So the future of motoring seems to be going electric and uh, so many players right here are making it a front to push all kind of mobility to electric. Right now I'm at the booth for IUEA who also do have an electric motorbike to offer. Let's find out a little bit more. So I'm here with uh, Ivan Sentongo at the IUEA booth. So what does IUEA have to offer for us in terms of electric mobility? What do you guys have? Yes, uh, our International University of East Africa is proud to be the best innovator of this edition of 2021 in the area of e-mobility. Yes. We have come up with the innovation of the electric motorbike okay and uh, this is our prototype uh, of the chassis of the motorbike okay. the finished product is there okay and the, here we have the the box where the the, the because I was actually the about to I was about to ask you. I was like, I saw your bike and it looks like it has an engine in the middle. What? <laughs> what was that? Yes, this one. Uh. Uh, this is where the battery sits. Okay. And uh, if you realize that this one, mm. this one fits there. Okay. And uh, the the major work is here. Okay. In this box. In this box. That's where the battery sits. This is where the battery sits. How big and a battery this, is this? And this battery can take you up to 120 kilometer 120 km wow uh, that's a big eight. distance yeah. that's a very big distance 120 kilometers that is like uh, kampala to ginger and back and back wow. without charging nice and uh, how okay talking about charging actually it's good you mentioned charging mm -hmm. how does this charge do i charge it myself do i have to bring it to you mm -hmm. how does the whole charging thing work i will i do the marketing of that product okay but i'm going to hand you over today the engineer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, engineer. How are you? Doing? Good. How are you? Good. My name is Linus. So uh, we are just discussing the issue of charging. So one, how big is the battery in terms of capacity? Mm. You're telling me it can do me about 120 kilometers, mm. but in terms of battery capacity itself, how big is it? Well, the battery is a 72 volt battery, mm -hmm. 36 amp hours. Okay. Uh, it can do between 80 to 120 battery okay. range, uh, depending on the road and the speed you are using. Okay. Uh, it can charge under two hours. Okay. Two hours. You you, uh, it has a normal charging. It has its own charger. You just plug in a normal 240 volt uh, socket. So, uh, a normal so, socket at home. So that means um, I get to take home a charger with me. Yes, you have to charge it myself. You charge at it home. yourself at home. Okay. You come in the, you ride the whole day. Whatever you feel you are, you are running wrong battery, you plug in anywhere and you charge again. Okay. Something like that. Oh, that's wonderful. That's yeah. actually very nice. So we are trying to improve the battery design to okay. show that it can do between 150 to 180. So that's why it's not yet commercial available. This is a still design prototypes. Okay. We have 50 of them. We are doing the market testing. Okay. Uh, so, so since it's a prototype, you're trying to say if I came looking for one right now, I can't get it. You cannot get it. I cannot, you get, cannot it. get it. Yeah. Okay, so finally, when you do roll out the final product, yeah. what do you estimate the price range to be like? We think it will be between 6.5. 6.5. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Yeah. And that is hard cash. Yeah, hard will cash. there be an option for someone who are taking it on loan? On leasing. Yeah, lease. Yes, and we are going to roll out a business model of its commercialization okay and uh, visual business model for commercialization of technology products uh, it's variant yes you have you have cash options uh, direct sales customers you have uh, leasing models okay. uh, we already have orders from microfinances who want to take on the on the bike to release the to sell them in a microfinance model yes. to their clientele mm. so we have so we should have different options in our business model okay. of how the bike can go go to the market our target is to once we start rolling out is mm. to roll out five thousand bikes in the first three years, each each each, each year, five thousand bikes. Five thousand bikes every year. Yeah, every that's, year. That's very we are focusing uh, for now to mm. produce all the parts of the chassis ourselves. Okay. All the entire chassis we intend to uh, fabricate it ourselves. Because I was about to ask, yes. where are these bikes being manufactured yeah, yes. from? This yeah. entire chassis is uh, going to be fabricated here. Okay. All the over twenty parts of the chassis are going to be made and fabricated here. Okay. With our local partners, the tires there are made in Uganda. Those. Uh, tubeless tires, the front and the back tires. The back, okay. They are all tubeless and they are made here in Uganda. Mm. We also intend to make the, the seat yes. and the mattress form and, uh, and the leather seat cover yes. Yes. also from Uganda. Huh? Then the battery, we do the assembly of the battery modules. Okay. The battery cells inside here, 
We bring the cells mm. directly, then we assemble the cells into battery modules okay. ourselves. Mm. So we intend to increase them to increase the range okay. for the battery itself. All right. So uh, th then we shall remain with a few components like these uh, shock, absorbers, shock absorbers and yes. uh, some body parts and lighting systems mm. and uh, hand the riders handles. Those ones should be still be importing them and the battery cells. Okay. We shall be still be importing them from our contract manufacturer in China. Okay, so our target in, in next year is to do 50 percent. 50. 50 percent. Okay. 50 percent. Okay. Yeah. But, but, the, but the things you have listed are the it, main components. Yes. Without yes, the chassis, nothing yes, is going on. Yes. Yes. Okay. That is very awesome. Now I noticed you still have like the design of the tank that mm. stays on top of the bike. Yes. Of what functionality is it serving? Is it hiding something under? Is it just for cosmetic purposes? Yeah. Your yeah, one of the things we're doing in this uh, in the design in the engineering design for this bike is uh, we design for three things basically yes. one design for safety uh, where we're introducing uh, i could first start with design for aesthetics yes design for beauty the design we design the tank is for beauty okay because people are used to these uh, bikes having these tanks you yes. Know? yes our yes. tank is actually empty completed there's nothing there as you can see there's, it's always empty mm -hmm. but it's just uh, for beauty the the beauty the outlook Okay. But we are going to utilize it for mm. other purposes to enhance the battery modules. Okay. So okay. we shall so design the higher battery uh, in there. Some like other that. modules in there. Okay. That's one. So with all the design for safety. Okay. Uh, this uh, bike, our bike uh, can be traced, can be tracked. It has an, pre, uh, an installed system. We can track it anywhere. Oh, that's anywhere nice. And uh, 24/7. Okay. So and we can switch it off anytime. Remotely, oh, so yeah. it, it connects itself it, to a remote, uh, remote uh, sensing system. That is amazing. We have the software we are running. Okay. So we have bikes now in Narua, we have mm -hmm. some in Balala, we have some in Bulu, which are doing var validation. But at one time, we can see where they are, mm -hmm. and if we want to switch it off, we can switch it off. That's nice. So, in addition, also, we uh, we design it with the reverse gear, okay. reverse gear, reversing gear system. Reverse on a bike. Yeah, the bike. That's a fast. This bike, it's a fast time. <laughs> That's a bike, fast. Uh, That's a fast for sure. Uh, yes, yes. It has yes. A reversing system. Yeah. It can reverse. But it says it was designed for safety. Meaning, if you try to push this bike without a key, it, mm. it jacks itself backwards. Oh. It cannot allow you to take it, push it away. Okay. It jacks itself. So you, you, the only way you can steer it is by lifting it and <laughs> rolling it onto <laughs> on the track. Oh yes. So which gets more challenging for for as a safety measure. Okay. Okay. Then but, yeah. That's that is actually very awesome. I like the, the direction of innovation you, you guys are taking at IUEA. Mm. So all this is done at the university premises. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. And are the students involved in yeah, this entire course, the larger process? Students that is really, really, really awesome. That's, what we on, That's yeah. awesome. Um, away from the bike, I see you have a couple of other things here. I see a um, yes. couple of other IEEA innovations. Yeah. I see something about a smart ventilator. Can yes. you tell me more this about this? This ventilator was designed in 2020 okay. when COVID began. Yes. When the government called for innovations. Uh, so this was designed to make uh, basically uh, um, assisted breathing. Yes. It is it functions very very well. Mm. Uh, uh, and uh, so when you run it, I can see the voltage. Yeah, it's yeah. It can run the heartbeat. It can run it's all. Every, entire, every, all the systems are functional. Okay. Yeah, it is commercialized in Nigeria. Here oh. in Uganda we, sub, we submitted, but we never got funding. Okay. So uh, our, our other teams in Nigeria submitted it in the government in Lagos and it's now commercialized in Lagos. Oh, the same, same. The same. Yes. Wow, that is yes. awesome. Actually, our students are the ones who took it there and uh, we have a partnership with Built. Okay. So we so we formed a small company there which is marketing which uh, is the, doing the ventilator. This, the same ventilator in Nigeria. That is really, really, really awesome. Well, then we have this clock. It uh, functions very well. It's a wall clock. I see it has a lot of gadgetry going on yeah, on the yes. inside. Oh, yeah, but yeah. those are the different gear systems. Yes. Which are running. Then we have the bikes, the bamboo ba manual bike and the bamboo electric. Wait, those are made from real bamboo? Yes, that's real bamboo, 100% bamboo. Okay, that's interesting. That's really, really interesting. Yeah. And uh, why would one opt for bamboo bike as opposed to steel that they're used to? The bamboo one, it is cheaper, okay. but also this bamboo we are using, we treat it, and it has a higher tensile strength and compression strength than most carbon steel frames. Okay. Actually, more, even more than uh, aluminum frames. Oh, yeah. We've uh, I've run all the tests, the compression tests, the tensile tests, impact tests, and stress tests on these bamboo frames. Yes. They achieve way higher ten, uh, uh, tensile uh, stress capabilities and resistance right. compared to actually some of the carbon steels. Oh. So it's very effective. It's reliable, very reliable. It will not break. It mm. will not. It's very, very strong. Bamboo mulch, uh, threads are very, very, very compact and very strong. Mm. And we treat it. So it's very, very reliable. You can count on it in your right. So we do both manual, mm -hmm. this one is 100% manual. Yes. So you ride manually, then these other two are 
electric. Assisted, oh, yeah. they are electric. Okay. It's both manual and electric. Okay. So okay. you can switch uh, from manual to electric or electric and, manual. And this bamboo is sourced locally as Source well? Sourced 100% local bamboo. That is very, very awesome. Yes, yes. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's been uh, nice welcome. hanging out here at the IUEA booth. Uh, I have actually learned a lot and I hope the viewers are also learning a lot from this. Uh, thank you so, so much. You're welcome. I'm engineer Edwin Agaba. Yes. I'm the head of the electric mobility research project. Nice, yeah. wonderful. I will actually set a date to come and uh, yes. and we talk. You are very welcome. <laughs> and we can we talk. We have a longer discussion. You are very welcome. Yes, thank you so.